In a world where some are used to punishing difference, especially on social media, the people you're gonna see in this video are a true example of determination and overcoming. <laughs> Differences can sometimes be superpowers, just depends on how you look at them. Cause at the end of the day, we're all different in some form or another, so why not put forward what makes us unique? From the man that is the real-life Magneto, to the girl that has never taken a shower, nor will she ever, here are 20 people you won't believe actually exist. Number 20. Lizzie Velazquez have you ever wondered who's the thinnest person in the world? Well, this is the thinnest person in the world. Meet 28-year-old Lizzie Velazquez. She was born weighing just 900 grams. The doctors diagnosed her with an extremely rare congenital disease called Marfanoid Progeroid Lipodystrophy Syndrome that, among other symptoms, prevents her from accumulating body fat and gaining weight. Every day, she eats 60 small meals that lead her to consume around 5,000 to 8,000 calories daily. That's incredible if we compare it with the recommended daily amount for a normal adult, which would be around 3,000. Her weight is just over 26 kilograms, and she can't do anything to gain even a little weight. To maintain energy levels, she eats small portions of chips, candy, chocolate, pizza, chicken, pastries, donuts, ice cream, and cake every 15 to 20 minutes throughout the day. This is why it bothers her a lot when people accuse her of being anorexic. At least she has the pleasure of eating sweets until she's full without any negative consequences. I kind of started realizing that my life is in my hands. Lizzie's syndrome cannot be treated yet, and doctors hope to run more tests. Meanwhile, this young woman holds the paradoxical title of being the skinniest woman in the world without suffering from any of the most common eating disorders. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Mohammed Kaleem This little 8-year-old boy suffers from a rare form of gigantism that caused his hands to grow disproportionately big in comparison with the rest of his body. Mohammed Kaleem, who lives with his parents in a small town in the state of Jharkhand, India, was born with a condition that caused his hands and arms to grow colossal. As a result of his illness, Kaleem has suffered ridicule from his classmates and was even denied admission to a school because his hands scared the children. His family has also suffered the wrath of superstitious neighbors who said that Kaleem's large hands were the result of a curse, the mark of the son of the devil. His low-income family could not help Mohammed with his illness, but fortunately, his story caught the attention of international media, which led expert doctors from southern India to diagnose his condition as macrodactyly, or localized gigantism. Dr. Sabapathy took on the challenge of helping the young child, and as he explained, it is one of the most complex cases he has ever seen. Sabapathy and his medical team struggled to find a method to reduce the size of Kaleem's hands and fingers without damaging any of his nerves. They've already operated on one of the hands, and will operate on the second soon. Number 18. Jyoti Kisanji Amge Born on December 16, 1993, in Nagpur, central India, Jyoti was of average height until she was five years old, according to her mother, Ranjana. However, to some extent, it was apparent that her growth was being hampered by a disorder. <laughs> It was only later on that they learned she has a form of dwarfism called achondroplasia and will never grow past a certain height. In 2009, she first caught the attention of the world when she appeared in Fuji TV's Bikuri Chojin 100 Special No. 2. Measured by doctors on the show, she was found to be just 24 and a half inches tall, confirming her as the world's shortest teenager. Amazingly, at just 12 pounds, she was only 6 pounds heavier than her birth weight. In December 2011, when she turned 18, she got the record title for the shortest woman in the world. She was measured by orthopedic consultant Dr. Manaj Pahukar at Wak Heart Super Specialty Hospital in her hometown of Nagpur, with GWR adjudicator Rob Malloy supervising the procedures. Jyoti's height was taken at different times of the day, and an average reading was then calculated. This is because the compression of the spine causes body height to fluctuate over the course of 24 hours. She was found to be 24.72 inches tall. Number 17. 
Meet the six foot nine Russian model with the world's longest legs. Yekaterina Lizina has a unique peculiarity that has completely conditioned her career. She currently holds the title of being the woman with the longest legs in the world as recognized by the Guinness Book of Records. This condition has allowed her to develop a career as a basketball player and model. Her left leg measures a little over 52 inches. It's logical, therefore, that the model proudly shows this personal condition on social networks where she often shares videos in which she shows off her long and toned legs. Despite now dedicating herself to the catwalks and being an illustrious figure in Russia recognized for her striking physique, the model used to play basketball before. And the truth is, she also developed this profession with great skill, since she managed to achieve an Olympic bronze at the 2008 Beijing Games. With a height of 6 foot 9 inches and a size 14 and a half foot, Lizina does not go unnoticed on the street. Her height makes it even difficult for her to pass through doors. However, the former athlete also confessed that this peculiarity of her physique caused her certain problems in her childhood, since she suffered bullying from her classmates when she was little. Number 16. Sultan Kosin to understand to what extent Sultan Kosin is an exceptional human being, you have to see him interact with different everyday objects. They look so tiny. Four years ago, when he was 38, the Guinness World Record measured him for the last time, and in this measurement, he reached a height of 8 feet 2.82 inches. In other words, he's nearly a foot taller than Shaquille O'Neal. But not only that, in addition to holding the title of the tallest person on the planet, he also holds the title of the person with the largest hands. They measure 11.22 inches from the wrist to the tip of the middle finger. The first time he was officially measured to enter the Guinness World Records was in 2009, and at that time he was 7 feet 9.7 inches, a lot shorter than he is now. The fact that he's continued to grow even at such an advanced age isn't due to genetics, but rather has to do with a medical condition. Both his siblings and and his parents are of average height. Instead, Kosin began to grow excessively from the age of 10 and didn't stop until he underwent a revolutionary surgery called Gamma Knife. This is explained because Sultan Kosin suffers from acromegaly, which is a disorder caused by a tumor in the pituitary gland, which exacerbates growth hormone production and can lead to gigantism if it occurs before puberty. Number 15. Real Life Barbie Valeria Lukyanova has fulfilled her dream of looking exactly the same as a Barbie doll, thanks to a plastic surgeon and also a lot of makeup. Now, she wants to show herself to her thousands of followers naturally, that is, if we don't consider all her cosmetic operations. And without makeup, her resemblance to Barbie is not so spectacular. Lukyanova rose to fame in 2012 when the internet began to focus on this girl with a tiny waist, huge breasts, and inordinately large eyes. <laughs> Immediately dubbed the Human Barbie, Valeria began to gain a following and appear in major media outlets. But Valeria is not one to give interviews, and as a result, not much is known about her personal life. Not even her age is known, although it's usually assumed that she's between 24 and 29 years old. Valeria's body has created a lot of controversy. It's debated on the internet whether she's removed some ribs to have such a small waist, or if she eats a healthy diet. According to her, she feeds on light and air to maintain her minuscule figure and only admits to having surgery on her breasts. Valeria has managed to create a halo of mystery around her figure. She claims that she can talk to aliens, travel through time, and that she's a spiritual leader named Amatu. She also claims that all of her decisions, including the clothes she wears, are the result of spiritual practices. Number 14. Mandy Sellers Meet the woman whose legs won't stop growing. Her nightmare began when scientists at the University of Cambridge discovered that she had a unique genetic mutation in the world and ruled out that she suffered from a variant of the Elephant Man Syndrome. Mandy Sellers suffers from a rare disease that causes her legs to grow uncontrollably throughout her life. Now, doctors have found a treatment to stop the disease after mapping her DNA. Sellers' agony began at birth when doctors noted that her legs were longer than the upper half of her body. Give it a good wiggle. <laughs> 
They even assured her parents that she would not survive. However, life seems to be smiling on her now with the design of this new treatment which is beginning to have positive effects on her. As soon as she started taking the medicine, which has a goal of stopping her legs from growing even more, she noticed that not only was it working, but her limbs also started to shrink. Number 13. Isaiah Acosta Isaiah Acosta is a 22-year-old rapper born on October 31st, 1999 in Glendale, Arizona. What makes the case of young Isaiah very special is that he was born without a jaw and with organs on the opposite side to the rest of people. Acosta is of Hispanic descent and he came into the world with a condition called situs inversus, which consists of the visceral organs appearing to be inverted. When he was born, the doctors didn't give him much hope for life just a year or two. They told me that he would live confined to a bed, blind, deaf, and unable to walk, Isaiah commented for a BBC program. His first steps in music were thanks to the fact that he began listening to rap. He was listening to songs by rappers of the stature of 50 Cent. This inspired him to start writing his own songs. The young rapper suffered from abuse at school and also on social networks. He came to receive very strong insults that wished him death. One afternoon at Children's Miracle Network Hospital, where Isaiah was a patient, his dream would come true. The hospital contacted a well-known Phoenix trap artist named Trap House. Thanks to this, a collaboration between the two of them called Oxygen to Fly came out, which today has more than a million views on YouTube. Number 12. A Woman with Full Body Wrinkles Sarah Jertz is a 31-year-old model whose skin looks like that of an older woman, flaccid and full of wrinkles. And that's because when the model was only 10 years old, she was diagnosed with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, which causes the body to have problems producing collagen, a protein responsible for keeping the skin firm. The result is a very unique appearance, one she's learned to love and appreciate, but that hasn't always been the case. Jertz affirms that her skin was her greatest insecurity, but she now believes that it's the most beautiful thing about her body. The young woman suffers from dermatosporaxis, and when she was little, she remembers that she covered herself with clothes so as not to look like an old girl. When she turned 22, she began to see her body as something unique. And now, the fact that she felt ugly at some point makes her really sad. Jertz wants to change the standards of beauty, and one of her videos on YouTube has already accumulated more than 2 million views. In addition, she has more than 7,200 followers on Instagram, a platform she intends to use to make everyone happy about their own bodies. Number 11. A man who never grew up. He looks as young as a schoolboy who's yet to hit puberty, but Hayoma Young Shing is actually a 32-year-old man. Hayoma Young, who lives in South Korea, suffers from a rare disease called Highlander Syndrome, which has not yet been officially recognized. This condition prevents a person's aging and physical development almost stopping growth completely. With his soft voice, short stature, and chubby cheeks, Hayoma Young Shin enjoys going to clubs on weekends, drinking with his friends, and considers actress Scarlett Johansson as his muse. Shin, who is 5 feet 3 inches tall and looks like a 10-year-old boy, was interviewed for a local TV channel documentary showing his ID, which shows that he was born in 1989. In the video, the young man shows photos of when he seemed to develop normally up until his preteens when he suddenly stopped growing. Despite his condition, Shin says that he is in good health. At the time, medical researcher Richard F. Walker suggested that understanding the condition might be the key to unlocking biological immortality. However, he added that this does not mean that people would not die. Illnesses and accidents continue to affect Hayomi Young's life like any other person. Number 10. Michelle Kish Michelle Kish's story is really shocking, but at the same time, motivating. This 24-year-old was diagnosed at birth with Hollerman-Strife syndrome, a condition that is so rare there are currently no more than 300 cases worldwide. Michelle's mother had two daughters, both pregnancies without any type of inconvenience, but in her second birth, everything changed for her because they told her that the baby had a syndrome and that everything would be very complicated from that moment on. Although it was a hard blow, Michelle began to grow with many limitations, but showing that she was a fighter.
the symptoms of her condition gradually began to manifest. This included round, childlike facial features and a form of dwarfism that is today reflected in her only reaching the waist of her sister, Sarah. Michelle needs medical attention 24 hours a day. Even while she sleeps, she has a nurse who never leaves her side. Of the 28 known symptoms of hollerman strife syndrome, young Michelle has 26. At all times, in order to express herself calmly, Michelle covers the tube that she has attached to her neck, which allows her to breathe normally. While that helps her, it does come with consequences. She can't go underwater, which is a shame because she actually wants to be a mermaid. Number 9. Boy with Werewolf Syndrome this boy, a native of the state of Madhya Pradesh in central India, was born with hypertrichosis, which is a rare disease that causes abundant hairiness in much of his body. This particular condition, for which parts such as the face, hands, and back are covered with abundant hair, has been popularly known as the werewolf syndrome. Due to the effects of this condition, Lali, 15, has stood out from a very young age among his schoolmates. This congenital singularity has made him a victim of the bullying of many people who judge him without knowing his condition or gentle personality. Sometimes when he's in a busy part of the city where people don't know him, people throw stones at him and call him a monkey. You can imagine how horrible that is for a teenage boy of such young age, or anyone for that matter. The ravages of this reprehensible situation have been so serious that they've pushed him to want to be different. Beyond social judgments, Lalit also has serious problems seeing and breathing when the hair on his face is very profuse. His parents have inquired about various treatments that allow him to lighten the physical consequences of hypertrichosis a little. So far, they've not been very successful. Number 8. Zion Clark Meet the wonderful man that recently won the Guinness World Record by becoming the fastest man in the world in 20 meter sprints on his hands. His biological mother didn't take care of her body at all while she was pregnant with Zion. She was taking a multitude of different drugs that have caused him many physical complications. Zion was born without legs, the product of a condition called caudal regression syndrome, a congenital malformation that usually occurs in multiple forms. In the case of this 24 year old, it directly directly affected his lower body as well as his nervous system and a poorly developed spine. However, it can also be said that he transformed this illness into fuel to become a clear example of overcoming and transcendence. He never knew his mother. After he was born, he was put up for adoption and sent directly to a foster care system as there was no one who could take care of him. Those early years were the worst. Growing up, he was definitely the weird one and at the same time dealing with all kinds of health battles. In addition to being disabled, he was physically abused, mentally abused, emotionally abused, and psychologically psychologically abused day in and day out. At the age of eight, he found a family and discovered wrestling, the sport that changed his life forever. Number 7. Electric Boy, Deepak Jangra. Meet the young man who cannot feel electricity. The Indian teenager Deepak Jangra can touch live electricity up to 11,000 volts and not feel a thing. This isn't a superhero with special powers, it's just a simple boy trying to repair his mother's portable heater. He thought the power was off, but later realized it was on, and he just didn't feel the electricity running through him. Since that day, he's been demonstrating this very bizarre talent. He has become an internet sensation. He has put his naked hand in water with electricity and not felt a thing. He has put a live electrical wire on his tongue and again not felt a single bolt of electricity. The kid's a real live wire in all the senses. The positive part, if you can excuse the pun, is that he now has fixed many houses in his community and he refuses to take any money whilst doing so. To prove his skills, he climbed an 11,000 volt power supply and felt nothing. The average person would have a slight electric shock standing just 5 meters away. He is a real-life superhero who just wants to help people with his electric touch. Number 6. Tilly Lockie, the girl with bionic arms. 
Tilly Lockheed loves being called the Bionic Girl. When her prosthetic arms were very realistic, people looked at her with pity. But now, with her new futuristic looking hands and the latest technology, everyone tells her, oh god, that's fantastic, and the conversation develops in a much more positive way. Tilly, who's now 16 years old and very blonde, doesn't go unnoticed with her silver and black arms. On the front of her hand, there are also two luminous circles that change color depending on the function they're using. The British teenager travels the world trying to transmit to girls and adolescents a message of resilience, improvement, and effort. Tilly's story of overcoming began when, at 15 months old, she had to have her forearms amputated after contracting a type of meningitis that almost cost her her life. She was so small that she says she no longer remembers what it's like to have hands that aren't prosthetic. However, that has not been a reason to stop doing everything she wanted, from dancing to playing piano, or now, as a teenager, putting on makeup. Lockie rose to fame since she began using state-of-the-art bionic prosthesis created by the company Open Biotics, of which she is an ambassador and whose motto is transforming disability into superpowers. Number 5. The Girl Who Feels No Pain can you imagine a life without pain? Sounds ideal, doesn't it? But in fact, it is not as wonderful as it sounds. Feeling no pain is considered a disability because you could bite your lips or fingers so hard that you bite through them and not feel a thing. That's the case of Gabby Gingras. She suffers from a very rare disorder called congenital insensitivity to pain. For reasons not yet known, the connection between the nerves that sense pain and the brain's recognition of pain is missing. It all started as a baby, as she slept through the prick of a blood test when most babies would be crying out very loud. It makes life learning as a child incredibly difficult. By age two and a half, she had already been injured and hospitalized numerous times just by learning how to walk. Poor Gabby was putting fingers in her eyes and damaging them without knowing. Her parents had to put swim goggles on her all the time just to protect her eyes. In fact, she ended up going blind in one eye. As her story was picked up in the global media, it turns out she was not alone as others started writing to her. Others were injuring themselves time after time without knowing as well. In this fascinating story of Gabby, we understand we need pain to help remind us what not to do or when we go too far. Number 4. Gary Turner on October 29, 1999, Gary Turner entered the Guinness World Record books thanks to a strange disease that he suffers from birth. Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is a connective tissue disorder that affects both the skin and the ligaments and their organs. In other words, it's a condition that affects collagen. This means that the elasticity becomes defective and there's a loosening of the skin and hypermobility in all the joints. Although in Gary's case it's a mild diagnosis, in more severe cases it can cause broken blood vessels and even death. But far from being something alarming, in his case, this condition earned him entry into the Guinness Book of Records. Born in Caister in the United Kingdom, he lives a completely normal life. He's even participated as a supporting actor in several films. Today, at 50 years old, in addition to being part of the record book, he is one of the 255 million people around the world who suffer from the same condition. I know, it looks very painful, doesn't it? But rest assured, Gary does not feel pain at all when he stretches his skin. For this disease, there's currently no cure, and patients diagnosed are provided with supportive treatment so that they can continue with their lives. In addition, each organism is affected in a different way, so treatments can be more or less aggressive, taking into account the lethality of the syndrome in each person. Number 3. Kim Goodman how far can you get your eyes out of your sockets before everything goes blurry and you feel like you're about to pass out? Well, we're sure that until now, no one has been able to take away from this woman from the United States the Guinness record that she has held since 2007. In a video shared on the official Instagram account of the Guinness World Records, Kim Goodman is seen with her unusually exorbitant eyeballs that protrude out of her sockets as much as 12 millimeters, a distance that was measured and certified by representatives of the institution in Turkey. The sensational images that show Kim in action amassed more than 27,400 likes and hundreds of comments from followers of Guinness World Records who were extremely surprised by her curious but unusual talent and no one's been able to match it since. Kim Goodman is an American woman from Chicago, Illinois, who discovered her talent for making her eyeballs pop out of their sockets after suffering a head injury that caused a condition known as exophthalmia or proptosis. It's basically the medical term for 
bulging or protruding eyeballs. It can affect one or both eyes and is most often caused by thyroid eye disease. Number 2. The Magnet Man this 37-year-old man from India is named Arun Raikwar, and during most of his life, he was completely unaware of the incredible gift he possesses. One day, he discovered it almost by accident while he was doing some renovations in his home, and since then, he astonishes and entertains his neighbors with a very particular skill. He's a true magnet, and there are those who already say he's the most attractive man on Earth. Pardon the pun. Arun from Madhya Pradesh in India claims to be a kind of magnet, like Magneto, the X-Men superhero, because he's able to adhere metal pieces to his body thanks to an uncontrollable magnetic attraction. You can see how they place metal spoons, nails, and other metal objects on his upper body, proving that they do not fall off. They even wipe his chest with a cloth to make sure there's no grease or glue. Rayquar explained that his body emits special magnetic signals that are particularly strong in his chest back and abdomen. At first, he was quite scared of it. He thought there may be something wrong with him, but now he's totally used to it, and he thinks it's very nice when people come to him and ask for a demonstration. Number 1. Ashley Morris what is the most important component to life as we know it? Water, of course. Now, imagine a poor girl that is allergic to water. That means she can't go swimming, soak in a hot bath after a long day at work, or even take a shower. Ashley Morris lives in Melbourne, Australia. She lives a normal life and goes to work every day just like everyone else. If it weren't for a rare skin disorder that makes her allergic to water, called aquagenic urticaria, she would go unnoticed among thousands of young people. In addition to the daily complications that she suffers, she must also put up with everyone asking her how she cleans herself every day. Although she considers herself a very clean person, her ordeal is a real challenge. Thankfully, her boyfriend is very understanding. He completely accepts the fact that they need to sleep with two different sheets because she can't go anywhere near him if he's sweaty. It's not known how many cases exist in the world, but it's believed that there are very few according to the existing bibliography. Urticaria has a wide variety of clinical presentations and causes. It's characterized by the presence of erythematous, edematous, transient welts, or plaques of different sizes. It is one of the most frequent dermatological diseases. It's classified according to the time of evolution, in acute, which lasts less than six weeks, or chronic, which lasts more than six weeks. It is estimated that acute urticaria affects 20% of the population worldwide. As you can see, there are many people out there who face very difficult and diverse challenges. What about you? Do you have a physical particularity that makes you stand out? Would you like to share it with us? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.